And our thanks to Stu for those early races. I'll kick off my first stint of the week with the Dipper Novices Chase, a Grade 2 event over 2 miles and 5 furlongs. At the top we've got Dark Alert for Craig Beckwith, Decider Nibras, David Robertson, Knight Jedi, Stu Gray, Pompey Rapid, Vinnie Gerard, St. Hernando, Darren Thompson, Wayward Jester, Leon Van Rinsburg, Capably Dangerous, Martin Liedem, and Flamenco Dance for David Hooley. A field of eight, called in and away, and heading towards the first of the fences in this one. 17 of them to take all together. And it looks like St. Hernando will be the one that leads them into the first. And also, if you the way would Jester was a little bit untidy on landing and is now the early black marker as they head towards the second with St. Hernando clearing the lead now. All nicely over the second with Dark Alert in second place. Then Flamenco Dance closest to us. Newcomer Knight Jedi is close up and right on the inside. David Robertson's designer Nebras with the yellow cap as they get over the third. Again, why would Jester a little bit ponderous towards the rear? And it's St. Hernando who's got a lead of a length. Oh, Knight Jedi second. Flamenco Dance on the outside is third. And over on the far rail decider Nebras with Dark Alert between those two. And the purple and white stripes of Capably Dangerous, followed by the two shades of green for Pompeii Rapid. And finally, Wayward Jester. Oh, Leon Van Rensburg at the back in the dark blue with a gold cap. And it's St. Hernando by Darren Thompson, who continues to show the way as they get to the fourth. Oh, well, that one okay, though. Flamenco Dance was not the quickest over it. Over number five. We'll save the over that one as well with capably dangerous momentarily drop into the back. And Saint Hernando is the one showing the way and leads by four lengths. You decide and Nibras who's in second, Saint Jedi and Dark Alert together. And Flamenco dance after that one. We're number six. A good job there by the second horse, Knight Jedi. And Stu Great. As they come up past the big screen, then take the fence, it'll be the last on next circuit, and it was Flamenco Dance that made the mistake there that time. And that one's now the back marker as they swing left-handed. And that for a complete circuit of the Cheltenham track with St. Hernando clearing the lead by three lengths in there to decide a knee in second, Dark Alert is third, and Night Jedi four. On the inside way, well, Jess has made a forward move. And Capably Dangerous has been switched to the outside and is getting a little bit closer as well. Flamenco dance next and then Pompey Rapid at the leader really stood off that one but got away with it. Lead is well it was down to about a length he's extended it back up to two now heading to the water and all safely over the water of course Night Jedi has now dropped to the back after just being in second so they're shuffling around behind this leader who's been Oh, he got, he's gone this time. He stood on the two of them are gone. Rapid, Pompey Rapid's gone as well. St. Hernando has been taking some liberties that allowed him a, a really, relatively easy lead. And he just made one mistake too many. And now all of a sudden, Wayward Jester's come through to take it up. So it's Wayward Jester who's suddenly found himself in the lead after being at the back for quite a lot of the early part of the race. Dark Alert is in second. Then decided to need Russ and Flamenco Dance. Then Night Jedi and finally Capably Dangerous as they get over that ditch. And you wouldn't necessarily rule any of these out, but the fact that Wayward Jester has crept to the front so easily is an ominous sign for the rest of them as they get over that one. But again, Wayward Jester a little bit ponderous over that one and spent a lot of time in the air as they race downhill. And Dark Alert on the outside of Wayward Jester. Then Flamenco Dance on the outside of Decider Nebras with Capably Dangerous on the outside of Night Jedi. Over the 14th they go. And that time Flamenco Dance was the one who made the mistake. That could have put pay to his chances. They've got three to jump. And it's Wayward Jester who's leading by three parts of a length. Do Dark Alert in second. Decider Nebras is back in third. Capably Dangerous is trying to run in fourth. Over the third last they go. And Wayward Jester's gone for home now. Leads by two and a half. To Dark Alert in second. Decider and Nibras is third. Capably dangerous four and night Jedi five. Then Flamenco Dance bringing up the rear. They've still got three furlongs to go and two more fences to take. 
and Wayward Jester is clear by four lengths to Dark Alert is under pressure decidedly rush challenging for second then Cable Reader is Night Jedi nothing showing any great turn of foot the challenge is leader at the moment he's gone straight through the second last turn that'll give them hope it's Wayward Jester still in the lead Dark Alert and decidedly rush are trying to close so too is Night Jedi in the inside wonder job Wayward Jester gets over it okay Cable Reader is starting to run on but not going to get anywhere near this leader and Wayward Jester despite a pretty shoddy performance on the jumping stakes is going to win this one quite convincingly so I'm not quite sure of the standard of this race then really because Wayward Jester's won by a good six lengths capably dangerous second and decided near us dark alert and not sure was a champion in that field because Wayward Jester must have missed out quite a few of those fences jumping slowly and still won by six or seven lengths and why would Jester takes it in for Leon Van Rensburg? Capably dangerous second for Martin Lidham. Decided Nebras for David Robertson was third. Knight Jedi for Stu Gray was fourth. And Dark Alert for Craig Beckwith was fifth.